You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. Hey, this is Capricorn from I Wanna Work for Diddy. And I'm hanging out at the round table with Lenny S, Maya the B, and Big Life. Here on Rock Me TV, don't shrink that screen. Yeah, once again, where that haze at, nigga? We wow. the round table live in New York City. We are. Stand up. Capricorn, where you at, baby? Capricorn is in the building. Bad boy family. All right. Yeah, I, I want to Cap. 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 Woo. Double guys, fist. guys, Shit. guys, give it up for Cap. Seriously, I'm like, seriously. double fist. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking seriously. about. Seriously. Now he wants you to say, wait, yeah. I think you have That's to true. move back. Oh, you hate, man. She ain't got I am hating, back. but it's actually because the camera won't oh. get her. So oh. see thank how you he's for having me. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, everybody. You look better in person than on, even on TV. Oh, thank you. No, that's right. you look great Cap on TV. Is Very shit. stylish, yes, oh, as you are today. All right. Cap so, is hot. Okay. Thank you. Hot. <laughs> And I'm you'd sure like to say. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> Lenny likes to calls you up and tells you that on the phone, just leaves you messages like, you're hot. All right, yeah. anyway, he's nuts. Okay, so um, how did you start working with, well, first, how did you get into the music industry? Was that something you always wanted to do? Or? I used to be an intern at Def Jam. Oh, many, nice. Many, 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 many years ago. Uh, and one of my first, I used to work for Lior's brother, Mati. Okay. Who handled like radio crossover and my first album was Hard Knock Life. So I started from on the West Coast. So. Oh, okay. All right. That's hot. And um, were you like, was there a specific, I guess, goal for you that you knew that you were, you know, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be Diddy's like in Diddy Circle or like, what did you think? No, I just knew that um, I had a lot of ambition and I wanted to do a lot of stuff and I kind of started looking at the people that were getting it and seeing how they were getting it. And then, you know, they're not like, you know, like superhumans. There has right. to be something that you can learn from it. So I just started to try to just work harder. Work just seemed to be the thing that all the people that were getting it were doing. We're doing you right. know what I mean? So. That's true. That's true. So, so you know, you, you know, you're on the new show, Working for Diddy. Mm -hmm. What and is I it called? I want to work for Diddy? I want to work okay, for Diddy. Okay, I want to Well, you both work. It's the same it's the thing. Same working thing. for Diddy. Well, yes. But... I seen an episode where they had cut this guy with the glasses, and you flipped. Yeah, you I walked didn't... out. Oh yeah, I saw that today too. And okay. I was just wondering, you like him or? No. He oh. should have been chosen. He should have stayed over. No, the other I mean my thing is like that used to be my job, and right. when you work for people like this, you kind of know that there are a bunch of real fake people that come around and they have other interests and they want this, they want that, and. After you've been somebody's assistant for so long, you kind of care who gets put in in place. Right. So that kid, while he may not have been sexy for TV right. or like the best storyline, right. he was the kid I trusted most from face value. He right. seemed like he had the most to lose and the most to offer somebody. He's taking care of his whole family. So shout shout out to Red wherever right. he is. That's what's up. Yeah, so you held him down though. You definitely held him down. You did. But Cap, going back to that because you used to work for Diddy and were an assistant, right? Yes. For Diddy. So tell me how that was. I heard he's one of the craziest, most relentless, hardworking. I mean, what you see on the show is like the nice TV version. Exactly. That's right. why I'm asking you. So it's like that. Every times 365 times a thousand. Right. Times, What's the you craziest know, like, no thing edits, huh? ever asked for you had to do, you know, while you were working? Um, I mean, you know, short of just staying up for months at a time, really, <laughs> really, really staying up for months at a time, you know, things like moving like 20 different people from a big yacht in the middle of uh, the ocean in Italy onto a tender with like 175 bags. When no it's a five person them. limit. When it's, no, when you no get way. one check for one person. <laughs> so you're like, okay, so now I don't know how to hold anything. Where do I go? What do I do? Yeah. And it's just really kind of like, you kind of have to be the host. You're kind of like the second skin. So you have, once you get into that mode, you're cool with all the work. Cause you're like, listen, all this energy I'm expanding right. is, can't be lost. Like I'm just working like a dog. So it has to be doing something for me. And mm -hmm. it may not happen with the person that you're doing the job for. Like, I never was thinking, like, oh, what will Puff give me? What will this do for me? It was about the other people that saw and about me just getting the work ethic. Right. Down. So everything was crazy, but you know what I mean? But it was all for a reason. So how, how did this method. prepare you for the future, like working with other people? Or did it make you stronger, more prepared? It just basically taught me that people really don't... You know how they say we operate with, like, 10% of our brain? Mm -hmm. Like, that's for real. Yeah. Like, he operates at a level that's, like... 75 plus percent yeah. of his mm -hmm. brain on on at all, all times. Time. So it really just teaches you that 
we're kind of underserving ourselves when we go work from nine to five. You right. could be doing like three more things in the body of a 24 hour day. So right. it's hustle one on one. What is your so what is your current title with him? My current or title is uh, marketing director for Sean John nice. slash consultant and you also manager deal with for Ciroc, all things did yet. Yeah. Right? If you need some Ciroc for Rock Me TV, wherever <laughs> the camera is, I yeah. don't see. Yes. Um, I'll get y'all some Ciroc. Johnny Clang was up here holding it down saying, I'll have a Ciroc and Sprite. That's all he kept asking. Yeah, we had for. Donnie last week. Oh, yeah. Donnie's great. I mean, you know, like if you got like Sean John clothing, we do the product placement, we do the Ciroc, we do the different things. So, Lenny, you know, we did your little thing in Philly, right? Yeah. Your little thing, Phil. Yeah. You know, I spoke to Harvey Harv on the phone. He was talking about trying to bring Cassidy on our show. Oh, Cassidy would be hot. Cassidy's one of the um, Sean John spokeswomen along with Lauren London. Yes. You know, and Nelly. Both gorgeous. So that's my job, yeah. signing them oh, and nice. facilitating yeah. that and taking those pictures. That's so Cass would be really hot. Because he know. liked the Donnie show. Like, he was like, yo, I'm loving this. No, Donnie. And Donnie's cool, right? Yes, he was like, so I like Donnie. We had like, He's the one who calls here. me and says thank you for the clothes. People think that it's just a prerequisite yes. when yeah. you get signed. Like, no, he's like, thank you. I love the jacket. So, uh, you know, like, I, I have I high hopes. Cap, jacket. don't go nowhere. We're yeah, going to we'll pay some bills, Capricorn. all right? That's right. right. Bad boy in the building. We the round table. Capricorn is in the building, y'all. DJ Velocity. Don't shrink that. Vic the Mizzy.